Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. Let the record show. I am the first one in the car. I had to say that fast because now Gabby, lo and behold, is the second one. Anyways, uh, welcome to today. I just wanted to get that on record. That was the first one. I'm never the last one. After you scream at everyone, you're the last one. I'm never the last one. Not ever. It is a winter wonderland out there. It's looking cute. I don't know if it's snowing or if just the leaves or if the snow is blowing off the trees. I think that the snow is blowing off the trees. It is so super sunny outside today though. I'm loving it. It's almost like a spring day again. I assume that all the snow is going to disappear. Why don't we step on my side? Anyways, we are headed. We're headed off to Costco to get all of our regularly scheduled supplies that we buy from there. I know I've asked this a million times, but do you guys shop at Costco? I am stuck between it is so great we get all these things and also it's such a ripoff because who needs 17,000 pieces of whatever it is you buy like lots of times the food that we buy goes bad before we get to use it all we have been trying all the foods this is yogurt and this is cauliflower rice cauliflower no rice it has no flavor it doesn't have the texture of rice definitely gross all natural, no preservatives, the most disgusting yogurt ever. It, it tastes like sour cream, but with a tangy. We tried another yogurt. We tried another it yogurt, so it was better. so good. Another thing that I buy is Dawn dish soap. I buy this giant bottle and I just reuse my old bottle. $10. Put it in. It is. I should get a case of water too because there's 40 in a case of this water. 40. Wait, can I, can I grab it? Yeah, you grab it. Yes. Put it on the bottom. I know. I carry water buckets every day. It's heavy. I know. If you're a farm girl, you can carry stuff. All right, let's show you guys what our staples are. So, we always buy the pickles. We always buy the Dawn dish soap. It's the best. I got two of those. We always buy these sausages. We always buy, Sophie always gets these. Oh no, this is what Gabby gets. I, I drink those too. Gabby gets hot chocolate. Sophie always gets these taquitos, chicken and cheese. She loves those. We always get this. We always get, we don't always get mac and cheese, but it's a whole case and somebody asked me, so I said yes. Daisy would love this. Daisy would love that. But also we have not hit the produce section yet, so we're headed there next. Sophie wants to buy stuffies for the. They're not stuffies. Look, they don't have. Feel it. They don't have. They do have stuffing, stuffing in no, them. They don't. They're stuffed. They're thick. No, they no. do. But after Christmas, once they got all their new toys for Christmas, every morning I wake up and our house is a disaster. We're getting these for them. Like a disaster. I'm like, no way. Yes way. No way. You clean up every morning. Oh my gosh. She's just joking. So Sophie found some graphic novels that she likes. Just because Sophie's reading graphic novels now doesn't mean that the first 13 years of her life she didn't read regular novels, because she did. But these ones here at Costco are only 10 bucks. I like this one. And we got them. We got a chicken, a roasted rotisserie chicken, because I love these things. And it's only $7.99 here. Fun fact, when I was young, I read Nancy Drew. I read the whole series. I collected the whole series. I had all of these books. I read them all. I was so addicted to them. Okay, so we stopped on the way home to get gas. And I went into the store and they had these weird chocolate bars that I've never seen any place else. So I'm gonna show you. I got them because a friend that I have in the States always brags that they have like funky chocolate bars there. So I got birthday cake Hershey. Oh, that's not new. That's not new. Kit Kat Crunchy Caramel. And more importantly, I got Kit Kat Crunchy Cookie Dough. I want that one. I know. That one's cool, oh. huh? I know. Everybody wants this one. I got three. They had weird ones. Oh, wait. Never mind. Not the cookie dough. Not oh, the cookie dough. We don't eat. Oh. So, you guys have never had them before? No, we haven't had the cookie dough. All right. Try it and tell me if it's any good. What is it? Cookie dough. Cookie guy. dough crunchy. They were a dollar. Oh. That's the only reason I bought them because they were like oh, really cheap. Oh. You love them? Maybe I should go in and get more and put them in the freezer or something. Uh -huh. They'd be all eaten by me. I know. Sam They're is like, I love cookie dough. Here, I got you a caramel one. Oh, all right. These are old, eh? <laughs> I've never seen them. They sell them before they expire. So Do you like them, Gabby? 
We just got home from Costco and there was a letter in our mailbox. It says to my neighbor. We have a drama free neighborhood, you guys. And this letter is handwritten. And it says, dear neighbor, my name is Margaret and I am one of Jehovah Witnesses. Oh, phew. <laughs> I was having a heart attack. Oh my gosh. I'm like, what could one of our neighbors not say to us that was so bad that they had to write an anonymous letter? It says, basically, um, that they are want to offer us a free interactive Bible course. So I guess like writing you a letter is kind of the equivalent of like the, the COVID, post COVID way of coming to your door. They used to come to your door. There's this little brochure in here too. Will suffering ever end? I hope not man, because it seems like the world is suffering right now. But anyways, all right. I can put this in the garbage and it's okay. There's no drama in our neighborhood, but wow, scary letter from our neighbor. Like, imagine how you would feel if you came home and you had a letter in your mailbox that said, to my neighbor, to my neighbor. Like, what could they not say to you to your face? Thankfully, our neighborhood is still in good standing with the day by day fam. I've been wanting to see how Hannah's gonna react when I shoot this. Why? Because I wanna see if she spooks. I don't know if that's a good idea. I'm not gonna shoot her, don't worry. I'm not that mean. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be right beside me anyways. My strategy to keep her out of my space. What's your strategy to keep her I'm out of your space? I'm gonna put whips in my pocket and it's gonna be poking out my sides. Mm. And then she's gonna stay at the end of them. You can try it. Look, she's over there going for her food. Know. Sophie's plan Sophie. is to hit her sister. Yes, okay, so show really them your plan. Gonna... Show them your plan. She's gonna have this like this so that if Honey tries to go in her space. Honey will just go underneath it, Molly. So yeah, Honey is way okay. lower than that. Our farrier actually yeah. thinks that Honey oh is gonna be really small, but her parents are not super small, so I don't know. There. Okay. But she thinks that she has hardly okay. grown since we Good got girl. her. I fell on my butt, guys. Sophie fell on her way down on the hill of ice. And you guys know she's still suffering from post-concussion syndrome and now she has a headache yes she, she fell and landed on her butt hurt her butt but then her head what happened to your head jolted jolted okay. yeah and that is not good oh, like i made it better wow you jolted it back into shape okay, <laughs> okay so she's been staring at us for the past like five minutes like what yeah. are you doing they all have lunch out there usually we come out after lunch or before lunch to work with them because we just find they're more agreeable when they aren't out there enjoying lunch. So let's tell you guys what we're gonna do. So first I'm gonna try my little technology. First she's gonna try her thing to see if it keeps honey out of her space. I think it's silly, but it's still cute and I want her to try it. We're I should be able to do a whole still part. working specifically on not on getting her not to come into our space to get a treat or be rewarded. Sophie will go into her space to be rewarded. Okay, so you guys know that my passion in my riding journey is so Gabby's passion is hunters Sophie's passion is jumpers and trying new disciplines she wants to try new things my passion is trail and specifically I really want to do extreme trail like I want to do extreme trail and this summer I'm gonna look for a trainer which I have like a couple ideas <laughs> she just yeah she just peeks around the corner hmm she says is this something that I'm interested in? So on Snapchat, on Snapchat, I told you guys I've been doing this thing called Send It, where you can ask anonymous questions, any question you want, and then we answer them. Well, somebody recently asked me, what or will you ever show Penny? And if I ever get an opportunity to show Penny, it will be extreme trail, being ridden. This, what we're gonna do today, is just by hand. Out of my space, normally should be in my space. Oh, so it's working, is that what you're saying? Yeah. But do you really want her that far away from you? Remember, you walk into her space. See? She's got Stay. something on her eye. See, look. Yeah, it works. We need to develop this. <laughs> her nose goes past the, the thing though. Okay, so, so today we're kind of trying to set up a extreme trail version of something that we could do at home. 
headache. by hand. What? My headache's gone. Oh, good. So basically, it. all right, come and let's show them around. So I have barrels, I have two barrels, and I have a lot of poles. So the barrels, I don't know, I think I'm gonna do something where you have to go around it. We have a bridge, we have a ball, we have tires. You guys see what I've been getting at all this time, building all this stuff in here? So you guys know that we also have this tunnel, I guess you would call it. But what's really interesting about this tunnel is that we have it attached with balloons right now. But when these pop, I have these little strings of tool, I guess it's called, that we're going to hang from it and leave it on there permanently. So the horses have to go through like these hanging things. So I love that. We also have pool noodles and swimming pools that we can use. And Gabby's building us this awesome, what's this called? I don't know. Grace, but they're all different sizes, so we're gonna have to fix that. Grace, so I had a different idea for this, but we don't have the right poles and stuff to do what I wanted to do, so Gabby's kind of making it up on her own. Hey, I think you're cheating, Missy. <laughs> yes, you can't do it. Oh, my horse has gone through it before. Oh yeah, I don't care. I think she'll do it. Who thinks Penny will go through that? This little pony will follow her girl wherever she takes her, wherever she asks. So we're gonna not add the barrels in right now. And we're, but what about if we have to push the ball into something? Wouldn't that be cool? Like if I took the lid off and put this on its side and they have to push the ball into it? Don't pop it, don't bad. pop it. No, it won't. Yeah, they're old. They've been up there since like October. <laughs> anyway, you know, so. COVID. Since COVID? No, you said since I got COVID. Since October. I think your ba brain really is rattled, Sophie. No, my brain's always been like that. It's too fast. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, honey, no, Willow's yeah. like, what? Look, she likes it. She's interested in it. Blue? Oh, she doesn't like it. Now you have to show it to her. But I was like, I have, I have limits, she says. Show her the balloon now so that she can be desensitized to it appropriately. Because you can't just leave her scared. Especially if you want to win this challenge that we're setting up. Good girl. Okay, what challenge is it? Walk underneath Good girl. Over okay, so we're going to set a course. It's going to be extreme trail. So it's going to be like backing up, turning around. Like, do you think you can so get your you horse to turn around on the bridge? Yeah. Yeah, I think so, but I also what wish... What did to it? How did she even do that? I think if you... Oh my gosh, look at it. It's wrinkled. Yeah, no, my how belly did she looks even like do that? After having babies. How did Sophia... It has a face now. It has a face. We gotta pop it now. Okay. <laughs> Jump on it. No, don't do that. Yeah, Alright, do it. I'm gonna do it. That's amazing. Oh, they're perfect. Oh, that's longer. perfect. Because it will just like go... Never mind, it didn't work. Now our neighbors really will be sending us mean letters. Why are you sh putting off shotguns in your barn? Willow st sticked around. Stuck around. Yeah, well, I was like, I'm, I got it now. I don't care about. Okay, so only Willow br left the food to come in and play with Sophie. Isn't that beautiful? Honey did. Not even Honey did. Oh, there's her famous circles. No, I don't even want to go. Okay. Crazy. Okay, so if you guys have any ideas of ways that we can incorporate the balls or the barrels, go ahead and comment that below. That's cool. The camera pose for her. Yeah. We're gonna set a course, uh, like a, an, a, tra a trail course, something that we can do on ha by hand, on in hand, without, probably without lead ropes. And we're going to practice it and we're going to video it and then it'll be an extra video coming up soon. What? She's growing up. I noticed that she's starting to change a little. She's not, she's ignoring you. Come here, honey. Come on, honey. She's getting lazier, you guys. Don't turn into a teenager. Don't you dare turn into a teenager. I feel the same way. Oh, also. 
if you guys are wondering about honey and Gracie's journey, you guys know that when we first introduced uh, honey to the herd, we did it really slowly and we chose the horse that seemed the best match to her to introduce to her first and it was Gracie. And Gracie took over like a mom role with her. And uh, update is that they're still like mom and daughter. They still do it. Whoa! <laughs> Yeah, look, do you guys see a difference in her already? Not going into her mom's face? Like this pony, this mini learns so fast. Oh, she's scared of Willow, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna end this video here now because it's gonna get too long. And tonight, or it'll already be up, I don't know. Um, you guys can see our extreme course trail video. Don't you know